Uh, hello, um, I, today I'm just going to be showing you uh, the difference between variables and arrays in Java because some people can get a bit confused as to what actually arrays are, like this is an array, yeah. Right, so what we're going to do, uh, everyone knows what variables do, well you should do, uh, integer called x, it's going to have a value of 5. Then when we do uh, system out print line, we say the number of x is, and then we show x. When we run it, uh, the run it says there the number of x is five. So that works well. But say if you um, say if you had I don't know uh, ten players in your game, you'd have to go. Uh, say say you wanted to do uh, I don't know their age. So you go player one age equals 10 and then you'd have to say another int player 2 age equals 12 and then int and etc etc and you'd end up with a really big list of all different variables Where, whereas you can just do this you can use an array which is just like a list and it uses a number in between two square brackets and so you can do this you can say int own bracket close bracket show you creating an array and write uh, uh, player age int so player age equals new integer array so you say new and then int with the brackets to show you mean an array and then in, but in the bracket you um, you write the size so if we're going to have 10 players you write in 10 so now it's created an array of 10 slots and um, basically you now you want to put stuff in it so then you can just say player age and then in square brackets a number zero equals 15 and then player age one equals 10 and then that's how you set the variables into this array and then if you needed to uh, give it to a function you could say do something and then instead of putting all the variables in you can just write player age like that and it will in that array contains all of the values since we're only putting two here we're just going to say it's, it's a two sized array and you start on zero you don't start on one and two you do zero then one because otherwise you'd just be missing out zero and that would just be a waste of a, a you know a good number so now if we wanted to show it we uh, go the number of let's do this player one's age is and then we can say player age zero because that's the first player and then if we run it player one's age is 15 and that is correct and you can say also also player two is and then you can say plus player age in brackets one the second player <sighs> oh now what is this uh, oh plus there we go uh, run it there we go player one's age is 15 also player two is 10 Put a space there there you go see and then these are just two va values, but if you had like a, uh, you were running a game and it had like a hundred players and you need to log all of their age, right? You, uh, you'd have to create like player one age equals so and so, player two age equals so and so. But then if you had ten more players, you'd have to add ten more variables and you have to remake your game and everything. Whereas you can just uh, define here the number. You say one hundred. You could say one thousand, and Java will just you know give you that much memory rather than you individually creating each variable and then um so yeah that's basically how you use arrays in java